Dear viewers, you are my greatest inspiration. Your kind words of appreciation motivate me to keep making more videos. Students frequently ask how to memorize this confusing concept. The optic axis is defined by the direction of propagation, at which the wave experiences the same refractive index, without dependence on the direction of polarization. Please find the detailed lesson in my videos on birefringence or double refraction, along with direction-dependent refraction, demonstrating ordinary ray and extraordinary ray. Optical axis, on the other hand is the straight line passing through the geometrical center, and joining the two centers of curvature of its surfaces. It's the principal axis. The optical axis in calcite represents the axis of threefold symmetry. Here you get a comparative overview, compiled and ready for your study preparations. Light traveling along the direction of the single optic axis in uniaxial crystals exhibits the same properties as isotropic materials, in the sense that the direction of light polarization remains unchanged while passing through the crystal. The single optic axis is coincident with the crystallographic axis in tetragonal and hexagonal crystals. Thus, light traveling parallel to the C-axis will behave, as if it were traveling through an isotropic substance. For isotropic media, the optical indicatrix is a sphere, hence possesses no principal axes related to the crystallographic axes. For hexagonal, trigonal, or tetragonal crystals, the unique principal axis of the uniaxial indicatrix is the optic axis, and it's parallel to the symmetry-defined axis, 